Okay, this is an example where we will use the tools learned in quantitative tutorials on portfolio theory to find the minimum variance portfolio. So consider those tutorials a prerequisite for this video. The example that we will cover is as follows. Consider three assets A, B, and C with expected returns RA equals a half, RB equals one, and RC equals three over two. We are given the covariance matrix C and we are asked to calculate the expected return and volatility of the minimum variance portfolio. Let's start by setting up the optimization problem the way we did it in tutorials. So, from tutorials, we have to minimize the variance of this three asset portfolio subject to the constraint that the sum of weights of all assets must equal one. There is no specified constraint on portfolio return and that's because we're trying to find a portfolio with minimum variance and not the one that meets a particular return target. We will multiply the objective function by a half just the way we did this in tutorial because minimizing a function or half of the function is going to be equivalent and multiplying by half will make our calculations much easier later on. And we'll solve this optimization problem by using the Lagrangian. So the Lagrangian equals, we will first write the objective function minus the parameter lambda times the first constraint. We will take the derivative of this with respect to the weights of all three assets. So taking the derivative of this with respect to the weight of first asset, we get the covariance of first asset with all other assets times the weight of nth asset minus lambda. Similarly, taking the derivative with respect to the weights of second asset, we get the covariance of second asset with all other assets times the weight of nth asset minus lambda. And taking the derivative with respect to the weight of third asset, we get the covariance of third asset with all other assets minus lambda. And finally, taking the derivative with respect to the parameter lambda, we get a minus of the sum of weights of all assets minus one. Then we set all these equations equal to zero in order to solve for the weights that would minimize the portfolio variance subject to the given constraint. Following the methodology described in tutorials, we will put these equations in a matrix form and plug in the values of variances and covariances given to us. So we will get the following matrix representation. So to solve for the weights of three assets, as well as the parameter lambda, we have to invert the matrix that includes the covariance matrix and multiply it by the column vector of zeros and ones. Let this matrix that includes the covariance matrix could be called A. This column vector that represents the weights as well as the parameter lambda equal capital W. And this column vector that includes zeros and one be called Q. So the solution to the system is W equals A inverse times Q. Following this, we can easily solve for the weights of the minimum variance portfolio as follows. So the column vector that includes the weights as well as the parameter lambda is equal to A inverse times the column vector Q. So multiplying the matrix A with this column vector Q, we get the following weights 
for the minimum variance portfolio. The weight of the first asset is equal to 0 0.6538. The weight of the second asset is equal to 0 0.2692. The weight of the third asset is equal to 0 0.0769. And the value of the parameter lambda is equal to 0 0.7596. So we have used our optimization program to solve for the weights that would give us the minimum variance portfolio. Now we have to calculate the expected return and volatility using these weights. So the expected return is just going to be equal to the column vector of weights transpose times the column vector of returns. And this equals the vector that has weights of the first asset, the second asset, and the third asset times the column vector that has returns as specified in the question. So the expected return of the first asset is a half, the expected return of the second asset is 1, and the expected return of the third asset is 3 over 2. Multiplying the row vector of weights by the column vector of returns, we get 0 0.7115. So the expected return of the minimum variance portfolio is 0.7115. Now, to calculate the variance of this minimum variance portfolio, we have to multiply the transpose of the weight vector by the covariance matrix, and that in turn is multiplied by the column vector of weights. And this equals the vector that has weight of the first asset, the second asset, and the third asset, times the covariance matrix times the vector that has the weights of first, second, and the third asset. Performing this matrix multiplication, we get the variance of the portfolio to equal 0 0.75 nine, five. So the volatility of this portfolio, which is just the square root of variance, is equal to the square root of 0 0.7595. And this equals 0 0.8715. So in this question, we follow the methodology we learned in tutorials to solve for the weights of the minimum variance portfolio as well as compute the expected return and volatility using those weights. If there are any questions or comments, please feel free to post.